Good morning, second grade families. It is so nice to be able to see you again. I don't know about any of you, but I have been feeling kind of weary this morning thinking about another week of recording videos and not seeing my kids and not being in the classroom. And I just want to encourage you all um, to remember when we first did our um, introductions to each other um, at the beginning of the year when you came and met me before school started, um, that I reminded you of a passage where Jesus was talking to his disciples and his disciples were in the boat and they were hungry and he finally looked at them and said, do you not understand? Do you not understand that I am what you need, that I am all sufficient for you? And I just want to encourage you with that, that Jesus in this time, in this time of absolute chaos and unprecedented distress and anxiety um, on our families, that Jesus is sufficient. And so as we go into this new week of homeschooling, um, more like chaos schooling and quarantine schooling, I just pray that you will be encouraged to know that Christ Jesus, especially at a time where we're remembering his death and burial and resurrection, he is enough for us and he is all sufficient, and we can get through this week not because we're awesome, not because we have all the energy in the world, not because we're on top of things, but because Jesus is living in us, and he is all sufficient, and he is everything that we need. So as we get started with this introduction video, um, you'll notice I'll tell the kids in some of their videos that I'm wearing my school clothes. I'm wearing my badge. Um, it helps me get in the mood for teaching and gets me excited to teach. So maybe that's something you want to incorporate this week. Get them in their uniforms. Help them to kind of get in that rhythm of, okay, we're doing school. Um, it's been really helpful for me to kind of dress nice every day to make sure that I'm in work mode. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am free on Tuesdays and Thursdays during those school hours from 9 to um, 3.30 p.m. If you feel like your child needs some teacher time, whether that be me meeting with them over Zoom or giving them a phone call or whatever, um, just please let me know if that's something that you're interested in because I am fully prepared to do that and would love to do that um, in, in that form. And so just let me know if that's something that your family is interested in or you feel like your child could need I'm free Tuesdays and Thursdays. Obviously, I have Goldie at home, so it's going to look a little bit different if I video call them because I'm sure she'll be right here. Um, but I do just want to encourage you, don't feel like you're alone, especially Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm still working. I'm still showing up. Um, and so I want to be able to support you as much as I can, especially on those days. Um, don't forget about sending in challenge pictures if your kiddo wants to participate in those weekly challenges. Obviously, it's not for a grade. It's not something that they have to do. It's just something fun um, to help them know that I'm hoping that they're doing fun things at home. Um, and it kind of allows their friends to see them doing fun things at home. It just kind of builds classroom um, community <laughs> while we're not in the classroom. So if you are participating in those challenges or your kid is doing things, um, just shoot me a picture over email and I'll be able to um, put it in the Monday email. Um, let's see. Young Authors Day. Unfortunately, we are not returning as of now until May 5th and May 7th. And so Young Authors Day is canceled, um, which is so sad because that is Probably, maybe next to Pizzeria Day, my favorite day of the school year because the kids are so excited to write or ha to have written their stories and their, their stories are laminated and bound and they get to read them and it's just a really sweet time. Um, so I'm sorry to say that it has been canceled. Um, however, the writing project itself is still totally optional. So they do not have to complete the writing assignment. It has been canceled. It's not for a grade. So if that has been a stressor for you, if that has been something that has just been on the back of your mind, of, oh, we've got to do that too. I'm so stressed out. It's over. You don't have to do it. They don't have to do it. It's not something that they have to do. However, I do know that some of you have gotten like 75% of the way through this project or have gotten even further than that or are still really wanting your children to do that project. 
So I want to leave it completely optional. Um, I'm going to leave it on Quick Schools for this week. Um, but after that, I'm just going to take it down so that you're not having to constantly reprint something that is not um, for you for that week. But if you if this is something that you want to complete, go ahead and make sure you have the assignment printed so that you kind of know how to organize your time. Um, if your child wants to complete the assignment and that's a desire of theirs, I know I have so many creative second grade writers, um, please go ahead and feel free to have them complete it and then you can record it and upload it to a medium like YouTube or Vimeo. Um, and I can walk you through how to do that and how to do it with all the privacy settings and then we can send that particular link to our friends um, in second grade and we can watch each other and um, even put comments on each other's videos and that would be really fun. Um, like I said, we would make sure that all the privacy settings were there so that only those who have the link can access it. Um, and then we, you can take it right down after um, a week or so. But I just wanted to leave that option there for you. The, it'll be taken out of gradebook, so there won't be a grade for it. Um, and yes, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So I hope that is a sigh of relief to you all. Um, but also, I hope it's a little sad too, because Young Authors Day is such a fun time. Um, let's see. Also, for this week, um, I am not going to be uploading um, parent versions of math and phonics um, this week, so do not expect those. I've noticed that they haven't gotten very many views at all in the last few weeks, which is totally fine. We're, we're all still trying to learn how to best serve each other, especially I'm trying to figure out how to best serve you. And so in place of those parent only or parent version videos, I'm going to be uploading a math video and a phonics video where I go through every page that they are to work on this week and complete one problem with them on each page. And so you'll see that this week where there's a math um, video where it's called completing math problems together. Um, in your weekly email, you'll see the list of those problems and, and page numbers that I am going to be completing with the kids. And so if you want to, this morning, Tuesday morning, go ahead and highlight those so that you know, hey, I don't have to do these, Mrs. Carlin's going to handle it, um, then that would be great. And that way the kids and I are still um, connecting and I'm still teaching them and walking them through how to do a problem. Um, and I'm hoping that's helpful for them, but I'm also hoping that that is helpful for you so that at least on every single page there's a problem that you don't have to worry about, um, that I am walking them through. There are going to be problems that are, in my opinion, probably more of the important concepts um, that they're learning and especially the newer concepts that they're learning per week. Um, and that is completely up to you how you want to have your child complete those. Maybe you want them to do a problem with me, one or two problems with me every day at home, or maybe you just need a Thursday morning to yourself and you can put them on those videos and they can go through each one of those pages and do all of those problems with me um, in one sit down, and that's fine too. So however you want to use that video, it's completely up to you, but I just hope that it is a blessing to you and a blessing to your students and um, it'll be fun to pretend like I'm teaching them <laughs> um, over video, but um, I hope that's helpful. So no parent version videos, but in each subject, well, math and phonics, there will be a let's do problems together. They'll be straight from their work pages. Um, and I think that's it. So have a wonderful week this week. I'm very excited for you all to just complete another week of this schooling. Please reach out to me if you have Okay, Marigold. Um, any questions or concerns? Bye.